American scientists injected human cells into the embryo of a monkey. Throughout history, mankind has sought to unlock the secrets of life, to bend the natural order to its will. So, in the shadows, away from the prying eyes of the world, a different kind of experimentation has been taking place. Human organ transplantation, hybrid animal-human organs. And they could just be the solution to both the global shortage of transplant organs. This is a realm where ethics are abandoned, where horrors are born, and where scientists play God with the building blocks of life, heedless of the consequences. But what exactly drives scientists to delve into these rather horrific kinds of experiments? And what could be the consequences on the natural order of the world as we know it? Join us as we delve into the top 20 evil crossbreeding experiments from hell. Number 20. Jackalope. The jackalope is like a magical storybook creature that people have talked about for ages. It's imagined as a rabbit, but with twisty antelope-like horns sticking out of its head, blending the features of two very different animals. This unbelievable animal has become a symbol of silly stories and legends in many parts of the United States, especially out west. Even though we won't find a jackalope hopping around in real life, its legend has caught the attention of countless imaginations. The story of the jackalope has roots in a mix of Native American tales, old stories from Europe, and the creative spark of storytellers. It seems like stories of rabbits with horns and antler-like hairs have popped up in cultures throughout history, each tale adding a bit more fuel to the legend of the jackalope. Despite being purely imaginary, the jackalope still enchants people till today. Number 19. Human-Cow Hybrid Recent news out of the UK about scientists creating hybrid embryos mixing human and cow DNA has stirred up a lot of discussion and disagreement about whether it's ethical or not. People are debating whether blending genetic material from humans and cows crosses a moral boundary in science. One significant reason driving this experimentation is the scarcity of human eggs for studying stem cells, crucial for medical advancement. Consequently, scientists have turned to using cow eggs due to their accessibility. These hybrid embryos are strictly for research purposes and are restricted from developing beyond a very early stage, typically around two weeks old, to prevent the creation of any bizarre half-human, half-cow entities. However, some individuals remain concerned, arguing that scientists should have waited for peer review before publicizing their findings. Instead, they rushed to the media, leading some to question the thoroughness of the research and the transparency of the scientists involved. Interestingly, other countries like China have already delved into similar experiments mixing human and animal cells. However, several nations including Australia, Canada, France, Germany, and Italy have chosen to outright ban such research endeavors. Number 18. Toiger. Toigers are special types of pet cats that were carefully bred to look like miniature tigers. They came into existence by mixing two types of domestic cats. One was a regular house cat, and the other was a Bengal cat, known for its striking appearance. When these two were brought together, a new kind of cat emerged, resembling a small tiger. That's how they got their unique name, which cleverly combines toy with tiger. The idea of creating these toigers wasn't just for fun. It was a way to draw attention to the conservation of real tigers. The person behind this brilliant concept was Judy Surgeon, who initiated the project in the early year 2000. By selectively breeding these cats, Judy managed to maintain not only their beautiful appearance, but also their friendly and loving nature, inherited from the Bengal cats. In 2008, the Toiger breed gained official recognition from the International Cat Association, marking a significant milestone. But Judy's journey to creating these cats didn't start there. She had been working with cats for many years, following in the footsteps of her mother, who played a key role in developing the Bengal cat breed. Judy's dedication to breeding cats with specific traits was evident from the start. She began by importing a male cat from India, carefully selected for its unique coat pattern. Number 17. Narluga. In the late 1980s, a fascinating creature known as a narluga was discovered, arising from the unexpected union between a narwhal and a beluga whale. Imagine this, a curious fisherman, 
expecting to find a typical beluga whale, instead stumbled upon a peculiar creature with gray skin and the distinctive horn of a narwhal. Intrigued by this unusual find, the fisherman preserved its skull. Nearly a decade later, a sharp-eyed researcher spotted the skull perched atop the fisherman's dwelling and inquired about its origins. It wasn't until three decades later, through DNA testing, that the truth behind this mysterious creature was revealed. Scientific analysis confirmed that the creature was indeed a first-generation hybrid, born to a narwhal mother and a beluga father, both of whom were purebred individuals. The narluga, already an adult when captured, offers a glimpse into the rare phenomenon of hybridization between these arctic-dwelling cetaceans. While encounters between narwhals and belugas are infrequent, their shared habitat suggests the possibility of such hybrids occurring naturally. However, due to the limited opportunities for mating between these species and the sterile nature of their offspring, the birth of a narluga is an exceedingly rare event, estimated to happen only once in a million births. Number 16. Human-Pig Hybrid And if you're eating breakfast right now, you may want to ignore this next story. Scientists have found a way to grow human organs in animals. Humanity has made a big step forward. Scientists are now mixing human stem cells with pig embryos for the very first time. They're watching closely as their cells grow and interact inside the pig. This pig is like a mix of two creatures called a chimera. Their goal is to see if they can make organs for transplants using this method. It sounds like something from a science fiction story, but recent studies show it might work. Scientists use gene editing to take out a part of the pig's DNA. This stops certain organs from growing. Then, they add human stem cells to the embryo. Yes, you heard that right. Human cells have successfully grown inside a pig embryo. These cells fill the gap and grow into a human organ, like a heart. After that, the embryo is put back into the pig to keep growing. This could mean they can grow human cells and organs inside animals. This is one step closer to the possibility of growing livers and other human organs inside of animals. It's an exciting idea that could help lots of people who need organ transplants, but they're still a long way from making it happen. Some people worry about the ethics of this research. The embryos are only allowed to grow for 28 days and can't be born. This raises big questions about what it means to be human and what it means to be an animal. Number 15. Kunga. In ancient times, in a place called Syro Mesopotamia, there existed a remarkable creature known as the Kunga, dating back 4,500 years. These creatures were often likened to donkeys, but held a special place in ancient societies, becoming symbols of prestige and military might. However, the story behind their creation is both fascinating and troubling. Through genetic analysis using ancient skeletal remains and DNA from the last surviving Syrian wild ass, researchers uncovered the truth about the Kunga. It was revealed that these creatures were the result of crossbreeding a female donkey with a male Syrian wild ass. This makes them the earliest known human-made hybrid recorded in history. The purpose behind this crossbreeding was strategic. People aimed to create animals that were faster and sturdier than regular donkeys, yet more manageable than wild asses, which resisted domestication. The process was meticulous, showing the planning and intentionality of ancient societies. Archaeologists stumbled upon the remains of Kungas in Umulmara, Syria, within a royal burial site. Dozens of skeletons were discovered, bearing marks of purposeful feeding and wearing harnesses in their mouths. These hybrid creatures were not only used for travel and warfare, but were also status symbols, and even exchanged as royal gifts. Their value was astonishing, priced at six times that of a regular donkey. Number 14. Mulard. The Mulard duck, born from a union of the Pekin and Muscovy breeds, is truly a culinary marvel. Its name reflects the clever fusion of its lineage, combining the best qualities of both parent species. These ducks, also known as Pekin ducks, are sought after for their delectable meat, which is a staple in French gastronomy. Their meat is not only flavorful, but also exceptionally tender, making every bite a culinary delight. What sets Moulard ducks apart is their impressive size. Surpassing both parent species, Moulard males typically tip the scales between 8 to 12 pounds, while females are slightly lighter, 
ranging from 8 to 10 pounds. Their substantial size makes them a substantial source of succulent meat, making them a favorite among chefs and home cooks alike. Beyond their impressive size and taste, Moulard ducks possess a serene temperament and are surprisingly easy to rear. Their placid nature makes them ideal for small-scale farming operations, where they can thrive in a stress-free environment. However, the allure of Moulard ducks extends far beyond their meat. These ducks play a crucial role in the production of foie gras, a luxurious delicacy celebrated for its decadent flavor and velvety texture. Their specially fattened livers are the key ingredient in crafting this gourmet delight, adding to their culinary significance. Number 13. Holfin. Holfins are fascinating and exceedingly rare marine creatures that arise from the mating of false killer whales and bottlenose dolphins. This isn't the first time a whale and a dolphin created a hybrid, though. Sea Life Park actually has a wolfin. Holfins stand out due to their scarcity, as it's quite challenging for these genetically distinct species to successfully breed. Despite this difficulty, a few instances of holfin hybrids have been recorded, both in captivity and in the wild. Physically, holfins exhibit a blend of traits from their parent species. Their dorsal fins, for example, often fall somewhere in between the sizes and shapes seen in bottlenose dolphins and false killer whales. In terms of coloration, they may display a mix of features from both species. Holfins typically fall in size between false killer whales and bottlenose dolphins. While there's limited information about the behavior and social dynamics of holfins in their natural habitat, they likely demonstrate a combination of behaviors observed in their parent species. False killer whales are known for their strong social bonds and group cohesion, while bottlenose dolphins are renowned for their intelligence and intricate social interactions. One famous example of a holfin is Kekaimalu, born at Sea Life Park in Hawaii in 1985. She was the first documented holfin born in captivity and drew global attention, sparking discussions about ethical considerations and conservation implications related to hybridization. The existence of a holfin raises questions about potential genetic interactions between closely related species and their impact on the gene pool. Number 12. Beefalo. Beefalo is a unique type of animal that came about from mixing two different kinds of creatures, regular cows and American bison. This blending happened way back in the middle of the 20th century in the United States. The goal was to make a new kind of animal that could be good for both meat and farming. Bison are known for having meat that's darker and tastier, while cows are easier to look after on a farm. Around the late 1960s, the number of American bison started going down, so people had the idea to mix them with cows to try and make them stronger. This idea came from a rancher named Jim Burnett, who lived in Montana. He carefully chose bison dads and cow moms to make babies that could handle tough weather, resist sickness, and have meat with less fat. Today, Beefalo are still used for their meat and are kept on farms. They're a bit more like cows than bison now, with about 60% of their genes coming from cows and 40% from bison. Before beefalo was a thing, other ranchers tried mixing cows and bison, but most of the time the babies couldn't have babies of their own. This meant they had to keep a separate group of bison around along with the beefalo to keep making more. Number 11. Geep. Geeps, also known as shouts, are a fascinating and rare blend of a goat and a sheep. These unique creatures are sometimes born on farms in unexpected circumstances, usually when goats and sheep share the same living space. However, such occurrences are quite uncommon due to the differences in their chromosomes. When a baby geep is born, it often faces challenges, with many being stillborn. However, there have been remarkable cases where these hybrid animals have survived, such as a male jeep born to a goat mother and a sheep father. This particular jeep had 57 chromosomes, falling between the typical 60 of goats and the 54 of sheep. It displayed traits of both species, with wool and a coarse outer coat and goat-like legs, and was ultimately unable to reproduce. Interestingly, humans have also intentionally bred geeps, a process that results in what is called a chimera, this term refers to an organism whose cells are derived from two or more zygotes. By combining sheep and goat embryos artificially, scientists have created chimeras. These intentionally bred jeeps also cannot reproduce, 
but they offer a different genetic mix compared to naturally occurring Jeeps. The experimentation that led to the creation of these chimeras was driven by the desire to enhance wool production. Both goats and sheep grow wool, although some goats do not. By combining embryos from goats lacking wool with those of sheep, offspring with a blend of both types of wool can be produced, offering unique possibilities in animal husbandry. Number 10. Woolly Mammoth Scientists are working on a groundbreaking project to bring back woolly mammoths, the ancient giants that roamed the earth over 10,000 years ago. Rather than directly resurrecting these mammoths, they plan to give their genetic traits to Asian elephants using advanced gene editing technology called CRISPR. This would give the elephants features like smaller ears and more body fat, helping them survive in cold environments like the tundra, where mammoths once thrived. But this isn't just about bringing back an ancient species. It's about creating something entirely new, hybrid creatures that bridge the gap between extinct and living animals. While this sounds exciting, it raises serious ethical concerns. One major worry is the impact on the ecosystem and biodiversity. Some biologists fear that focusing on resurrecting extinct species could divert attention and resources from the urgent task of preserving the Earth's current biodiversity. Plus, introducing genetically modified animals into ecosystems could have unpredictable consequences. These hybrid elephants might upset the balance of the environment, affecting not only other wildlife, but also climate patterns. In essence, while the idea of bringing back mammoths is fascinating, it's crucial to consider the potential risks and unintended consequences before proceeding further. Number 9. Cuban Crocodile The Cuban Crocodile, a rare and majestic creature, is teetering dangerously close to extinction. Surprisingly, its decline isn't primarily due to loss of habitat or environmental damage. Instead, it's facing a critical threat from crossbreeding with its American relatives. The Cuban crocodile, a marvel of nature measuring up to 10 feet in length, once roamed freely in the lush swamps of Cuba. But now, its population has dwindled to a mere 4,000 individuals, confined to just two isolated areas. This decline has pushed it to the edge of extinction, prompting the International Union for Conservation of Nature to label it as critically endangered. The trouble began when American crocodiles, larger and more robust cousins of the Cuban species, started encroaching on Cuban territory. As human activities like agriculture altered the salinity of Cuba's freshwater habitats, American crocodiles found these areas more hospitable, leading to risky encounters between the two species. What's even more concerning is the genetic similarity between American and Cuban crocodiles in Cuba. This suggests that interbreeding is occurring far more frequently than experts previously thought, blurring the lines between the two species. In essence, the Cuban crocodile, once a proud symbol of Cuba's natural heritage, is now facing a dire threat from its relatives. It's a complex ecological dilemma that demands urgent attention before it's too late. Number 8. Roller Bear Once upon a time, there existed a considerable gap in the habitats of polar bears and grizzly bears. However, as the icy realms of the polar bears diminish due to melting polar ice caps, these majestic creatures have started migrating southward. Consequently, the vast territories of these two formidable bears have begun to intersect. For ages, the internet has buzzed with debates over who would triumph in a brawl between a polar bear and a grizzly bear. While numerous opinions circulate, the truth unveils a surprising revelation. These bears are more inclined towards love than combat. As their paths converge, a fascinating phenomenon emerges. The birth of roller bears, the remarkable offspring born from the union of polar bears and grizzlies. Some whimsically refer to them as grizzly bears, a name I find delightfully absurd. The inaugural sighting of a roller bear dates back to 2006, and although officially recorded instances remain scarce, scientists speculate that these mysterious hybrids may be more abundant than documented. With features reminiscent of polar bears but possessing larger claws and darker fur, these creatures intrigue and captivate the imagination, poised to potentially become a prevalent and beloved species in the natural world. Number 7. Guppy Cross, Molly Fish 
Breeding guppies with molly fish is like blending two puzzle pieces that fit snugly together due to their genetic compatibility as members of the same Celia genus. This fascinating endeavor often results in hybrid offspring, affectionately termed muppies or galley fish. The offspring from this crossbreeding may exhibit a diverse range of traits, showcasing a captivating blend of characteristics inherited from both parent species. These hybrid fish can boast variations in their color patterns, body shapes, and fin structures, presenting a kaleidoscope of possibilities for fish enthusiasts. However, it's crucial to understand that while this hybridization can yield visually stunning results, it's not always a straightforward process. Despite their genetic similarities, guppies and mollies have evolved with distinct needs for optimal health and reproduction. As a result, their hybrid offspring may face challenges related to fitness, adaptability, and overall survival. This means that not all hybrid offspring may thrive, and some may even struggle to survive. For those daring to embark on this crossbreeding journey, careful attention to detail is paramount. Maintaining a carefully controlled breeding environment is essential, encompassing factors such as water quality, temperature regulation, and providing appropriate nutrition. Furthermore, closely monitoring the health and development of the offspring is imperative, as hybrid fish may have unique requirements compared to their parent species. Number 6. Liger. Ligers are a fascinating blend of big cat genetics, born from the unusual pairing of a male lion and a female tiger. They represent one of the most colossal cat hybrids, showcasing a mix of physical traits inherited from both parent species. Imagine having the strength and social instincts of a lion, combined with the stripes and solitary tendencies of a tiger. These majestic creatures typically sport a tawny coat similar to lions, adorned with dark tiger stripes. Their coloration can vary from golden to sandy, with each liger having a unique pattern of stripes. What's truly remarkable is their size. Ligers often outgrow both lions and tigers, thanks to something called hybrid vigor, where genes from different species come together to promote rapid growth. Some can weigh hundreds of kilograms and stretch over 10 feet long, making them one of the largest cat hybrids on the planet. However, the breeding of ligers has stirred up debates regarding ethics and animal welfare. Critics argue that creating these hybrids for mere novelty or commercial purposes could harm the well-being of the animals involved. Moreover, from a conservation perspective, ligers don't contribute to the preservation of lions or tigers in the wild. Both parent species are endangered, and hybridization isn't a viable strategy for wildlife conservation efforts. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. In a hidden laboratory nestled deep within the shadows of a remote mountain range, Dr. Victor Haldane toiled feverishly on his forbidden experiments. The mad scientist was obsessed with pushing the boundaries of nature, heedless of the consequences. His latest creation loomed in the corner, a horrific fusion of creatures stitched together with reckless abandon. It bore the head of a lion, the body of a serpent, and the wings of a bat, a chimera born from his evil crossbreeding experiment from hell. And as whispers of his abominable experiment spread, a group of fearless adventurers embarked on a dangerous journey to confront the deranged scientist. Led by the fearless explorer, Captain Amelia Blackwood, they braved the deadly terrain and faced untold dangers to reach his lair. Upon breaching the laboratory's defenses, they were greeted by a set of strange creatures, part human, part beast, each more horrifying than the last. But their resolve remained unshaken, fueled by a determination to put an end to Dr. Haldane's reign of terror. The air crackled with magic as spells were cast, blades clashed, and the screams of the damned echoed through the chamber. In the end, it was not brute strength or arcane prowess that sealed his fate, but the indomitable spirit of humanity. With a final, desperate gambit, Captain Blackwood shattered the vials containing the elixirs of life that sustained the mad scientist, robbing him of his immortality. As the laboratory crumbled around them, Captain Blackwood and her companions escaped into the night, leaving behind the ruins of Dr. Haldane's twisted experiments. What are your thoughts on this evil crossbreeding experiment? Let us have your opinions in the comments below. Number 5. Kulakamba. Among the array of hybrids that intrigue scientists, 
One stands out as the closest to humanity, the Kula Kamba. This mysterious creature is a fascinating blend of a gorilla and a chimpanzee, capturing the imagination with its potential implications for evolutionary biology. Imagine a creature larger than a chimpanzee, yet with a face that is noticeably flatter and a markedly larger skull. This amalgamation of features offers a glimpse into the intriguing world of hybridization. Some experts speculate that the Kulakamba's existence may be owed to a genetic mutation, adding an element of mystery to its origins. Despite its elusive nature, sightings of this captivating hybrid have been documented since the 1850s. However, it wasn't until 1996 that the world caught its first glimpse of the Kulakamba in a photograph taken at the Yawunde Zoo in Cameroon. These sightings, though tantalizing, have yet to be substantiated by empirical evidence, leaving scientists grappling with questions about its true nature. The name Kulakamba derives from the purported sound the ape makes, infusing an element of local legend into its identity. Interestingly, Kamba roughly translates to chimp in the local language, hinting at its chimpanzee ancestry. Yet, the true identity of the Kulakamba remains shrouded in uncertainty. Number 4. Beetle-Computer Hybrid In 2006, scientists did something remarkable. They inserted a computer chip into a living beetle. This chip allowed a team of researchers to control the beetle's movements. It might sound like science fiction, but this was a real-life experiment. While researchers had turned insects into robots before, this time was different. For the first time, they could control the insect completely yet still let it make its own decisions when not under their command. Imagine a beetle, still alive and buzzing around, but also taking orders like a tiny living robot. The implications of this experiment are vast and exciting. Think about disasters, for instance. When natural disasters strike, finding and rescuing people quickly is crucial. These tiny computerized insects could be invaluable. Because they're so small and easy to control, they could dart into tight spaces that humans or larger robots couldn't reach. Experts believe they could locate disaster victims much faster than current methods allow. But it's not just about disaster response. The simplicity of creating these hybrids opens up a world of possibilities. Instead of building entire robots from scratch, researchers only need to create the chip and radio components. Then, they pair them with a controller, and voila! they have a tiny, controllable insect robot. This could revolutionize robotics, making it easier and cheaper to develop new technologies. Number 3. Dodo Bird The dodo bird is one of the most famous animals that ever lived. Colossal Biosciences, a biotechnology company from Austin, Texas, is aiming to bring back the dodo bird, a species that disappeared around 1662. This marks the company's third attempt to bring back extinct species, following projects to revive woolly mammoths and Tasmanian tigers. Reviving the dodo involves using advanced biotechnology techniques such as sequencing ancient DNA, cloning, and creating artificial wombs. The company has obtained detailed DNA information from a 500-year-old dodo stored in a Danish museum. The plan to resurrect the dodo revolves around its closest living relative, the Nicobar pigeon. The idea is to gradually transform the pigeon into a dodo, potentially releasing the animal into its native habitat. However, the journey to recreating the dodo is fraught with challenges and uncertainties. The exact genetic modifications needed to turn a Nicobar pigeon into a dodo are still unknown, and it could require hundreds of gene changes, possibly harming many pigeons in the process. Even if a functional dodo proxy is successfully created, there's the question of where to reintroduce it. The dodo's former habitat, once lush with biodiversity, is now dominated by sugarcane farming and plagued by non-native predators. This raises concerns about the dodo's survival if reintroduced into its former environment. Number 2. Zonkey Kumba's parents are quite extraordinary. Ignacio, a donkey, and RAS, a zebra, came together in an unexpected union that resulted in Kumba, their offspring. This is quite rare because donkeys typically have 62 chromosomes, while zebras can have anywhere from 32 to 46 chromosomes. The clash between these genetic codes often poses challenges during embryonic development, making the birth of a hybrid like Kumba an uncommon occurrence. In most cases, 
Such hybrids, known as Zons, are only found in the wild. However, this particular zoo defied the odds by facilitating the birth of Kumba. Even notable figures like Charles Darwin and Lord Morton recognize the existence of these hybrids, with Morton even delving into hybrid horse breeding back in the early 1800s. Early scientists were motivated by a desire to create resilient pack animals that could withstand diseases like sleeping sickness, which plagued purebred horses. However, in their pursuit, they blurred the lines between donkeys and zebras. Additionally, if the insemination process isn't perfect, it greatly reduces the chances of the mother's ever-bearing offspring again. Even if successful, hybrid births are fraught with risks, leaving the newborns extremely vulnerable. Number 1. Kama The Kama is a remarkable blend of two animals, the dromedary camel from Asia and the South American llama. Normally, such a fusion wouldn't occur in nature because of the vast geographical distances between them. However, it became possible due to a shared ancestry dating back a staggering 30 million years. This ancient biological connection persisted through time, making the hybridization possible. Way back, there was a common ancestor species living in what we now call the Rocky Mountains of North America. Fast forward to 1998, breeders in the ancient Arab Emirates achieved the seemingly impossible task of crossing these distant relatives. It was hailed as a scientific miracle given the immense separation these species endured over millennia. Think of it like a reunion between long-lost lovers. Imagine two souls separated by time and distance finally coming together again. Except, in this case, one looks like a camel and the other like a llama, perhaps not the typical Hollywood love story casting. Thankfully for the female llama, the process involved artificial insemination. This was necessary because of the significant size difference between a camel and a llama. Otherwise, it could have been quite awkward and uncomfortable. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.